see what this season will bring. Yeah, it's awesome. Obviously, really exciting. Um, been here for a couple of weeks now, so um, just kind of feeling the pace, meeting the guys, and uh, just being on the ice. It's, it's really exciting to see them start again. So, um, yeah, it's awesome. Just skating with Connor Murphy. I mean, what are some of the things you pick up with? Him? Yeah, yeah, obviously, um, super experienced, super great hockey player. Um, and yeah, when you're out there with you, you can kind of kind of read off him. Obviously, he's got your back. You can do everything out there. So, um, it's been awesome. He's a great guy. He's kind of teaching me. Um, and showing me the ropes, so um, it's awesome that I'm paired with him. He's saying he enjoys being a slow guy when he's with you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say Murph's very slow, so. <laughs> slow at all, so. You, you mentioned, I mean, can you give me any specifics from skating with him? Anything where, like, you, like, when I say to you, what specific has he taught you that stands out in your head, like, from any of these couple of days or any time around him, something that jumps out? Yeah, it's kind of little things. Obviously, we haven't gone to the games yet, but just kind of positioning, um, helping with drills, obviously. He's been here for a while, so he knows all the drills and stuff like that. Um, and just kind of letting me know what kind of like to expect. So um, obviously I was paired with him last year too. Um, and that really helped my confidence just being a, a new guy. So, um, but yeah, being paired with him again this year, it's, it's really exciting. Um, and uh, I should be good for the preseason. You were saying last year that he spent like one day with you and then that was it. And then now this year you're paired up with him all the time. Like, you got kind of a cool little appetizer last year and then you decided to get it full front this year yeah yeah obviously yeah last year I think we played really well together um and yeah we kind of we our styles you could say match pretty well obviously um he's a great player he's great defensively skate, skates really well um and yeah I guess me I try and join the rush a lot so um I think just being a lefty righty reading off each other's me it's gonna be really good talk about uh getting bigger and coaches have talked about that as well do you think you can handle the, the size of the NHL a little bit more? yeah obviously got got stronger over the summer um I guess uh, kind of get to see that in preseason, get to go against the, the stronger guys then. So, um, but yeah, I think I think so. I think I'm, ex I'm excited to kind of see where I, I fare. Um, and yeah. He was also saying that he'd like to see maybe take a little bit fewer risks offensively because you can't probably get away with as much at this level as you could in, in the Western League. What, what's kind of your mentality with that, of learning the, the right amount of risk to take? Yeah, I think just kind of, like I said, just easing into it. Um, obviously, don't play too risky. Just trying to um, move the puck at the puck in the forwards' hands and kind of go from there. So, um, yeah, I don't really at this level do it all yourself. Obviously, we have um, unbelievable players all over. So, um, kind of get them the puck. So obviously, you trust them with the puck. So, um, let them do what they're they're great at. So, um, and yeah, it'll be it'll be good to see that. Is that, the, is that the trickiest thing for a young defenseman learning the appropriate amount of risk? Because obviously, they want you to jump up and join the rush with your ability but they're also telling you not to take nervous. It's kind of like contrary to each other, you know? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Um, yeah, I can't take too much risk. Um, you don't want to put the, the team at harm. So, um, yeah, just kind of reading what's the, the good time, obviously. Um, when you can create a, maybe an odd matter or something like that, um, it's contrary to like just kind of joining for no reason. So, um, yeah, just I guess in the games, not being too dumb like that, just trying to play it smart. How have you seen the camaraderie? Carry over from development camp this summer with you guys being off the ice, but now after two practices on it. Yeah, yeah obviously, um, yeah, all the guys at dev camp um, kind of bonded through that, um, and then obviously, yeah, dev camp, rookie camp, all that, and then just kind of mixing with the uh, the pro guys. Um, it's been awesome. They've been great leaders, and uh, just yeah, just kind of showing us around. So um, definitely some com uh, camaraderie. So yeah. Kevin, this is a concept. Like yesterday, Luke talked about skilled guys using their skill to play defense quicker. You know, it's a five-man thing either way, with or without. Is there anything that they're talking to you about, like using your skill as just a hockey player, not just a D-man, to force you know to get the puck back quicker and enforce the moves? Yeah, I think using my skating and kind of my stick. Um, obviously, um, using my skating to close gaps. Yeah, I'm also very confident in that. Um, and then yeah, using my stick, putting in the right position, putting pressure, um, and just obviously trying to put the, the puck guy at the pocket of the forward um, in a bad spot where he's uncomfortable. So um, yeah, just working on that in practice against better hockey players, it's been awesome. Um, just kind of testing yourself and pushing yourself, so it's been good. The last year you had a really good preseason. Are you looking forward to building off you know, how your game has grown since then? Yeah, yeah, obviously trying to um, get better every day. Um, and yeah, I just kind of used that last year's preseason as, I guess you say, confidence heading to this one um, against NHL players. So um, it's exciting. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get at it. So. Do, you, do you feel like you're closer to being an NHL? Do you feel like you are an NHL player now? Yeah, I think obviously um, just, yeah, I, I guess I, I don't really know. Just to do that, I got to um, 
go on the ice, play games, and kind of see where I'm at. So obviously, I've been putting work over the summer of the year, but um, I guess we'll we'll just see. Feel more confident on the ice with veterans now than maybe last year. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm um, definitely more confident. I think that's a testament to the the locker room. We got the the vets, the pros that. Um, make you feel comfortable and kind of like whether they're asking you um, about your family, stuff like that, just kind of get to know you off the ice. So um, it's been awesome, um, great experience so far. Is this so much different for you uh, from uh, last year? Uh, has it been a learning curve with uh, Luke Richardson's system? Yeah, I think obviously kind of got a taste of it last year. Um, and then, yeah, kind of re reapplying it this year. So obviously getting that experience last year was pretty similar. Um, it's kind of good for me just because I, I get to know what to expect and um, can learn it quicker. So it's been good. Kevin, this could be kind of a weird season, right? You, you could be here for 82 games. You could be sent back to juniors. Like, what are your thoughts about all that? Things just does it kind of make your head spin a little bit? Or like, yeah, obviously for me, I think just want to enjoy every moment of it. Um, being here, obviously anything can happen. So um, for me, just yeah, enjoy enjoy every day um, and don't take it for granted. Um, yeah, just trying to push myself every day, um, kind of prove that I belong here, and yeah, I'll just see from there. Do you have an overall goal for the season then? Or? I think for me, just yeah, like I said, just kind of win, win every day and get better every day. Obviously, for me, um, I just want to learn as much as I can and get to, to be the best player I can be in the future. What is it like learning from uh, Seth Jones, Connor Murphy? He just goes better in the locker room. Yeah, it's awesome. Obviously, they play they play the game so well. Um, but yeah, I think more more of it so it's off the ice, just kind of like I said, getting to know me, um, and maybe feel comfortable. Kind of that leadership, obviously. Um, that's uh, that's a skill in itself, being a leader um, and making the young guys feel comfortable. So that's something I'm kind of learning to do too. So it's good.